Hey everybody, this is Shalane from Cause Commotion, and I've actually been requested to do a tutorial on how I style Fish Mooney's hair. So I wanted to go ahead and take that opportunity today. First thing I want to talk about is the wig itself. This wig is a obviously is a short wig. It's a uh, majority of it is human hair with a little bit of the synthetic blend. So if you notice this part here is actually um, burgundy. This is the part that's synthetic and all the other parts of this wig is actually human hair. Now, if you know, if I cover this, you'll actually see that it's not exactly red enough. So what I did, I'm gonna pull this here and you're gonna see these are actually clip-on red extensions. Synthetic, but um, they're clip-on extensions. And I just I went ahead and added this to the front, just like that you see Fish Mooney wear, you know, in the front, her hair is red also. This just has a little more sprinkled in. When I first got this wig, it was a little more than what Fish had, but as Fish's character evolved into what she is now, this is perfect because she actually has more red, so yay me. Um, you're going to notice the fringes on the side and the fringes in the back. So when I style this, I first of all, I take the wig and I shake it. So I'm just going to pretend that this is, you know, I'm getting ready for con, and I shake it. I really fluff it out, okay? And then I put it on. So let's pretend this is me. So I put it on from the back to the front. And then, well, okay. Okay, guys, I'm going to have to do it this way. <laughs> All right, so, so it's here. And I like shaking it that way because I can actually see how the hair falls in place. Now, when I first bought this wig, it was actually, there was more volume on the side it actually had like um like a bowl cut so what i did i cut more of the wig along the sides and the the thing for me is that i used to be a licensed cosmetologist in virginia so i know how to cut hair but simply what i did i just took i took the front piece away and i would just take the side piece i would section it off i'd hold it out and i would cut it and i would actually cut it more of a, of a 45 not, not so much straight, just for me to see how far in I could take the wig before it was you know, too short. Because once it's cut, it's done. You can't do anything else with it. But, okay, so once I did that, you know, and I got the length, then when I actually go to style the hair, I make it as high as I can. So something, you know, with this, sometimes it's just a lot of teasing. It's just the way that it falls that day. But I always make it a point to make sure there's a nice fringe here in the front and on the sides you can actually see I tuck it around the ears I tuck this part out and then I'll flick this part forward alright you can actually see the fringe there and that's pretty much how I style Fish's hair it doesn't really look like much here maybe it's because it's a little crooked but again you can see this fringe see this fringe here I always kind of style this little piece here in the front and I make this high I'm gonna, it's hard for me to do it I kind of I'm gonna have to just hold this in between my knees you can see so I'll tease this part you can actually see now how because it's falling in place and I'll do I'll do a little bit of separation here so it's not such a solid piece of red and I will purposely go really high with the styling because as the convention goes on, of course the hair is going to fall. I'll also spray it with, um, L'Oreal has a really good strong one. There's also, a Clairol has a nice one. It's in a long gold um, can. But that's pretty much it. That's how I get my fish moody to be fierce when I go out in the convention. So that's my tutorial for today. If there are any other questions or how to's on what I do with my particular cosplay, I'm, you know, I love to share because I'm also going to put it out there. I'm going to ask, you know, how do I get certain things to do, whatever. So anyway, reach out to me um, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, cause, C-O-S-A, commotion, C-O-M-M-O-T-I-O-N. I'm going to be attending Spooky Empire 
and Paradise City Comic Con. Um, this is actually in the month of November. Uh, excuse me, December. God, I'm not talking about December. So look for me there. If you see me, say hi to me. Snap a selfie. But the actual booth itself will be at Bartow. That's in February where we have the big Gotham set. Um, it's a it's Gotham style. It's not the actual Gotham because I don't want any the lawsuit or whatever. But um, uh, we'll be out there with Oswald as well as Poison Ivy and, of course, Selena Kyle, who was just played by Elizabeth Skye. And we're hoping by then we'll have an Enigma um, permanently added to the cast, the other Enigma that we had left, and, of course, a Hugo Doctor Strange. So we're always looking for other people to join our troupe. Again, reach out to us on Facebook, Twitter, um, Facebook, Twitter, excuse me, Instagram. Also, would like for you to um, check, hit us up on Patreon. This is actually a new thing for us. And the Patreon page, actually, um, what we're asking um, are donations to add to our set as well as go towards a professional printer uh, that's going to actually enable us to give 6x8 prints to our fans when they come out and see us at our booth, okay? So hit us up. That's on Patreon, P A T R. E O N and um, just put in under creators, put in cause of promotion, and our page will pop up. So, thank you again for watching, and hopefully, um, I answered some questions for you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.